Anthias. Pink Anthias. Pink Anthias. Pink Anthias is a colorful fish that likes to live on the deeper part of tropical reefs. Reef Town Rock. Vertebrae. Shark tooth. Shark tooth. Shark tooth. A shark's teeth fall out easily and often. Shark teeth grow in rows, and when one falls out, another takes its place. Reef Town Rock. Non living. Pearl. 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 Pearls are formed when something irritating, like a parasite, gets inside an oyster's shell. The oyster covers the intruder with layers of a shiny coating called nacre, making a little ball we call a pearl. Reef Town Rock. Non living. Coral Rubble. Coral Rubble. Coral Rubble is pieces of broken coral laying on the sea floor. <laughs> this piece would make a great fin ball. Reef Town Rock. Non living. Tube worms. Tube worms. Tube worms. These tube worms, also called feather duster worms, use their fancy tentacles to catch food from the water around them. Reef Town Rock. Invertebrate. Sea stars. Sea stars. Sea stars. Sea stars, also called starfish, are members of a group called echinoderms. Their feet are actually hundreds of tubes with suction cups. They have no hands and their feet are on their arms. Reef Town Rock. Invertebrate. Shell. 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 Shells are made by many different kinds of animals and come in all sorts of shapes. They provide the owner with a home and protect them from danger. Reef Town Rock. Non living. Charlie! Charlie! Charlie. Charlie is a seahorse and Ripple's dad. Seahorse fathers carry the eggs and give birth to the young. They can have hundreds of babies. Maury! Maury! Maury. Maury is a snowflake moray eel. He loves to hang out in his hole and pop his head out to chat with his friends and learn all that's happening on the reef. Chompy! Chompy. Chompy is a parrotfish. Chompy plays an important role on the reef breaking up the coral into tiny bits as she eats and making sand. Denny. Denny. Denny is a cleaner shrimp. She loves to clean parasites off of fish on the reef. This close relationship between two different kinds of living things is called symbiosis. Flow. Flow. 
Flo is a Hawksbill sea turtle. Like most sea turtles, Flo traveled long distances on ocean currents before settling down to live in Reef Town. Gush. Gush. Gush is a frogfish. He is really well camouflaged and he looks like a sponge, making it hard to tell he's a fish when he sits still. Hurley. Hurley. Perlene. Perlene is an oyster. She's related to snails and octopuses. She has two shells, one on top and one on the bottom, that serve as her home and keep her safe. Snap and Scout. Snap and Scout. Scout and Snap. Snap is a pistol shrimp, and Scout is a fish called a goby. Scout watches out for danger, while Snap builds and keeps their den clean. That's an example of symbiosis. Wave! Wave! Wave. Wave is a day octopus. He is a great example of camouflage because he can change his color and shape to blend in with his environment, making him very hard to see. Z. 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 Z is a zebra bullhead shark. Most sharks have all the same shaped teeth, but Z has special flat teeth near the back of her mouth that let her grind up her food. Barrel sponge. Barrel sponge. Barrel sponge. A sponge is a type of animal that doesn't move. It filters its food from the water around it. This one is shaped like a barrel. Reef Town Rock. Invertebrate. Brain coral. Brain coral. Brain coral. Brain coral, like other corals, is made up of hundreds of individual animals called polyps. This one gets its name because it looks like a brain. Coral polyp. Coral polyp. Corals are important animals because they build tropical reefs. Each individual coral animal is called a polyp. Polyps live together in large groups called colonies. Flower coral. Flower coral. Flower coral. Flower corals are animals that live in a group called a colony. Each tiny individual animal is called a polyp. The polyps open up at night to catch food from the water around them. Leather coral. Leather coral. Leather coral is a soft type of coral. It doesn't make a hard shell. It has hundreds of tentacles that it uses to catch the food from the water around it. Plate coral. Plate coral. Plate coral. Plate corals have many tentacles that are used to catch food. The plate coral can take on water and inflate itself to twice its original size. Gorgonians. Gorgonians. Gorgonian. Gorgonians are animals that are closely related to corals. Some live in fan-shaped colonies, giving them the nickname sea fans. Aquaman. 
Acropora coral. Acropora coral. Acropora coral. Acropora coral is an important animal because it helps build tropical reefs. Many fish and other animals like to hide within the Acropora coral. Barnacles. 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 Barnacles are animals that are related to crabs and shrimp. They lay upside down inside their cone-shaped shells and they use their frilly feet to catch food from the water around them. Globe. 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 A globe is a map of the Earth in the shape of a ball. Barrel. Barrel. Barrels. Ships used to carry water in large barrels like this one. A barrel makes a great hiding spot for smaller fish. Ship's wheel. Ship's wheel. The wheel is how a ship is steered. This ship's wheel has been underwater a long time and has a lot of things growing on it. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. Chests like this one were used to carry important things on ships. Sometimes they even carried treasure. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Bell and Polly are spotted jellyfish. Similar to many species of coral, they get their color from tiny living things called algae that live inside them. Scallop shell. Scallop shell. A scallop is an animal that has two shells, one on top and one on the bottom. Anemone. Anemone. Anemones are related to corals and jellyfish. They have lots of tentacles, which they use to grab their food from the water around them. Chestnut cowrie shell. Chestnut cowrie shell. Chestnut cowrie shell. Chestnut cowries are a type of snail that lives in the kelp forest. Cowries like to keep their shells very clean, always wiping away anything that settles on it. Kelp forest. Hold fast. Hold fast. A hold fast attaches the seaweed kelp to rock and keeps it from floating away. Kelp forest. Algae. Kelp hold fast rock. Kelp hold fast rock. Kelp hold fast rock. Kelp attach themselves to rocks using a hold fast. These rocks are important because they help keep the kelp from floating away. Blades. Kelp blades. Kelp blades. The seaweed kelp has blades instead of leaves. The blades help the algae get energy from the sun in order to grow, like leaves do on trees. Mrs. Tidy. Mrs. Tidy. Mrs. Tidy. Mrs. Tidy is a Garibaldi fish. She met Tidy after seeing his very neat and tidy red algae bed. 
Mud Pit. Mud Pit. One of Bubbles' favorite places to play is a patch of icky, muddy, mucky mud. Pebbles. Pebbles. Pebbles are small rocks. They're perfect for playing finball. Bat star. Bat star. A bat star is a type of sea star. A bat star feeds by taking its stomach out of its mouth and placing it on top of whatever it wants to eat. When finished, it puts its stomach back through its mouth. <laughs> Red algae bed. Red algae bed. Red algae bed. The red algae bed is Tidy's garden. He removes all the algae except the red algae and keeps it neat and clean in order to attract a mate. Rock totem. Rock totem. Rock totem. Tidy loves to make rock totems as he cleans pebbles off his red algae bed. Rock totem. Tidy loves to make rock totems as he cleans pebbles off his red algae bed. Seaweed. 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 Seaweed is a type of living thing called algae. It's an important source of food for many ocean animals. Like plants, algae get energy from the sun in order to grow. Tidy. Tidy. Tidy is a Garibaldi fish. He keeps his bed of red algae neat and clean, carefully removing anything that doesn't belong. Tyke. 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 Tyke is a young harbor seal. Harbor seal pups are very curious and playful. Krill. 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 Krill are related to shrimp and crabs. They are an important source of food for whales in the Arctic and Antarctic. The Antarctic. Invertebrate. Mac. 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 Mac is a mackerel ice fish. He lives in Antarctica, and he has a special chemical in him that keeps him from freezing in the icy cold water. Kind of like he has his own antifreeze. Kind of like he has his own antifreeze. Sea urchin. Sea urchin. Sea urchin. A sea urchin is an animal in a group called echinoderms. It's related to sea stars and has hundreds of spines to protect it. Penguin. Penguins. Penguins are birds that can swim underwater very well. This one is a Gen 2 penguin. Gen 2s are the fastest swimmers of all penguins. Brinicle. 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 A brinicle is formed when very cold, salty water leaks out of sea ice, freezing water around it as it flows toward the bottom. Biggie. 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 Biggie is a binocular fish. She lives way down in the dark deep. Her big eyes help her to see in the very dim light. Boo. 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 Boo is a hagfish. She lives at the bottom of the deep ocean and can make lots of slippery slime to protect herself. Firefly squid. Firefly squid. 
firefly squid. Firefly squid are related to octopuses like Wayne, but they swim up in the water instead of near the bottom. Firefly squid are a great example of bioluminescence because they glow in the dark.